You might have a job that has a limited usefulness. With the open source version of Sidekick, once this job is in queued, it's going to run whether it provides a benefit or not. With Sidekick Pro, you can make use of the expiring jobs feature to account for this. Let's check it out. We'll use the application from the last episode, just to have a starting point. Let's assume we're building an auction application, and we want to notify someone that their bid has just been beaten. Okay, so we're going to add sidekick options expires in one hour. So by default we're saying basically this is the sort of notice that isn't useful if you get it later. So if this were stuck in the queue, it's not valuable for us to send it to you if it took us longer than an hour to get to it. So we'll, we'll just throw it away. Anyway, um, so this sets the default expiration time for this job to one hour from its creation time, and that means that if the job doesn't start being worked within an hour of its being in queued, it won't be worked at all. It's important to know that if a job isn't worked due to expiration, it's still considered successful for the purpose of batches. The semantics here are that it is acceptable for the job to not be worked, so failing to be worked is not a failure condition. So here we've defined a static expiration time. You can also specify an expiration time when you enqueue the job. In order for expiration to work though, you need to enable the expiry feature in an initializer. So we'll open up config initializers sidekick.rb and all you have to do is require sidekick pro expiry. And now we can open up a Rails console and enqueue the job. So we will push a new job that expires in one second. Here I'm showing that you can override the default provided in the class's sidekick options call. So here we push this job in with essentially an immediate expiration. So what happens now when we run our sidekick worker? Let's run it. So here we can see that we have an expired job and it was done basically immediately. So this job was already expired when the worker got to it, so it popped it off the queue without running it. This is enabled by the expiry middleware that we added via our sidekick initializer. Sidekick supports the notion of middleware that can modify how it works, and the expiry middleware tells it to discard expired jobs without executing them. I love systems with middleware, so learning that this was how Sidekick provides itself an extension point made me very happy. So that's how Sidekick Pro's expiry middleware works. That was super quick, so we'll also have a look at another topic in this video. Filtering in the web UI. In order to really see what it's used for, we're going to do some weird things. First, let's make sure Sidekick is stopped. Next, we're going to go ahead and enqueue a lot of these jobs. So I'm going to enqueue 100 notifications that I have been outbid. And now we're going to drop out and add a second parameter to the workers perform method. So we'll add an amount parameter. And we'll update the method body to something that can actually work. Uh, there was no user mailer, so that was never going to work. All right, so we're adding a parameter so that the user can find out how much they were outbid by. We'll add some more jobs using this updated method. Okay, so I was outbid by $20, um, and it's going to tell me about that. And finally, we decided that they needed to know who outbid them, so we'll, we'll update that as well. And because we're insidious and because sometimes bad things happen, we will make that the second argument. So this is awful, right? This used to be amount, now it's opponent. It's a completely different type of thing. And we'll add some jobs. So evil at company.com outbid me by $20. Okay, so now we'll start Sidekick and we'll start Rails. And we will visit the admin. So let me just refresh here. And so this is our retries. So we have a lot of jobs failing for different reasons. So let's find the ones that we gave one argument to and just delete them. So a lot of times we have a wrong number of arguments given one expected three because we didn't run it until we expected three arguments. So let's go ahead and filter by given one expected three. And this is the sidekick filtering UI. So we've filter down just to that category of failures and I'm just going to delete them so let's delete these and in fact there's going to be a few more it's pagination and that should be it yep okay so we've got rid of those and now for the ones that are remaining we have given two expected three so 
we'll go ahead and fix this with an update to our code. So we'll come in here and uh, we'll make amount have a default value so that a two argument version works. And we'll say, look, if opponent is an integer, then that's really the amount, not the opponent. This is old code. And let's actually make a comment about this. And we'll just set the opponent to something, right? So unknown at example.com. Sure. And so that should fix it. And so let's restart Sidekick and Rails. Come back in here. Look at our retries. Retry everything. And it worked. OK, so in today's episode, we saw how to use Sidekick Pro's expiring jobs feature to produce jobs that become irrelevant after a certain amount of time and consequently need not to be run if they can't be run in the time allotted. This can help you avoid sending stale or useless messages to your users. We also looked at how to use the Sidekick Pro web UI filtering to manage retries, even in the face of quite a few of them to sort through. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.